Allow me to present a K3 prototype cyborg assassin. Left for dead. Philip Ryan is about to live again. Half man, half machine. Kill it. His mind now controlled by a madman. You see, he works just perfect. Welcome to part two. Um, so the only thing I learned from part one is that apparently the actress I was making fun of for like sounding like she starred in hentai was apparently the uh, feminist from Saved by the Bell. Great. So yeah, she grew up to be um, uh, a twelve-year-old in a uh, BDSM garb. And the thing that I don't understand is uh, this entire time I thought that she was just like an android and everybody knew she was an android. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true anymore, which makes me wonder why the police hired a 12-year-old dressing up in BDSM gear. Because Mars? I guess, because (laughs) Mars needs women. Anyway, we're going to do Cyborg Cop. David Bradley. Cyborg Cop. Born of Flesh. Turned to steel. Uh, this is actually rated R from Vidmark Entertainment. And uh, now I shall read you the synopsis. Oh, hold on. What's it called? Cybercop? Cybercop by David Bradley. I want to know what its Rotten Tomato score is. Probably like a three. Uh, well, no, no. So basically what this says is that nobody... Ever has, like, a, no actual, like, critics reviewed it. Yeah. Or, like, I guess paid to do critics reviewed it. Um, the audience score is <laughs> 28% with 100 plus ratings. Bet. It's also a movie underneath of it called Skeeter, which has a 12 wait, in the audience. Wait, wait. Look up um, another cop movie. Uh, look up Space Cop. Space Cop? Yeah, I want to see what Space Cop is in, re- in is regard. It, okay. Yeah, 2016, there it is. <laughs> That's another one I was thinking of. So Space Cop had a 70. Jesus. Um, but then it doesn't really have a tomato meter. Okay, so uh, after the, maybe one day I'll, I'll let you watch Space Cop. Space Cop. I've never seen it. I just kind of know of it. I'm pretty sure the people who made it are embarrassed. <laughs> so that's Is that fun. why they don't have a picture for it? Probably. Yeah. The future technology of tomorrow is here today in CyberCop, an explosive sci-fi thriller in the tradition of Universal Soldier. During an undercover raid in Haiti, Vice Cop... Vice Cop. Vice Cop. Yeah, Vice Cop. You know, Vice as in drugs, alcohol, sex. Uh, Phil Ryan is mortally wounded by a strange, unstoppable soldier. Ryan is captured and taken to a high-tech laboratory... Uh, take him to the high tech tech laboratory of Kessel, John Rice Davies, an evil industrious who, year, who yearns to build an army of assassin cyborgs, half man, half machine. So Glad they told us what the definition of cyborg is. This, I wouldn't have known that otherwise. This is basically Armitage. <laughs> Armitage, except uh, with beefcakes instead of uh, cupcakes. <laughs> Phil's brother, Jack. <laughs> David Bradley, star of American Ninja 3 and 4. Pretty sure I have American Ninja, like, 3 or maybe 2 somewhere in my collection of VHS tapes. I was going to say, how did he only star in 3 and 4? What the hell happened to 1 and 2? Uh, that was somebody else. A tough street fighter teams up with a beautiful journalist, Kate. Uh, Kate doesn't have a, um, no, nobody cares who Kate is. Uh, she doesn't have a last name? No, I mean, she doesn't have, like, a This Is Who Stars Kate. Oh. Oops. So, she, you know, she just, it is not like Kate of, you know, Hooters or... Kate, Kate of Hooters? Of, yeah, Kate of Hooters. Kate of uh, Playboy. We don't, we don't even that. have a Hooters here. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, B-dubs. Yeah. It's kind of like Hooters. I mean, a lot of the waitresses have big tits. They just all don't dress alike. <laughs> you know, or like, tw- in their 20s versus, like, 14. That's when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings with the expectation of that, like, from what's been known to you from the media and this, and then you go there, and it's just, like, a bunch of dudes, and you're like, oh. There are also dudes that work there, yes. Yeah, but then you're just like, oh, this isn't, this isn't fun. (laughs) To break into Kessel's compound and put an end to his evil operation, but Kessel has his indestructible cyborgs and his secret high-tech arsenal. Does Jack have the power to defend himself against Cyborg Cop? 
I'm gonna say no. Aptly no. Why are the cyber? Why are they called them cyber comps? And they're supposed to be like cyborg assassins. Like I get it. Like if you were like a cop and everything, but I know if you turn like a journalist into like a cyborg, you're not a cyborg journalist. You're just a cyborg assassin at that point. Hmm. Like Armitage. Well, what if they're still I'm a sorry, journalist? Armitage the third. What? What if they're still a journalist? Then you'd be a cyborg who's also a journalist. You're a cyborg assassin who's also a journalist. I thought they'd just be a cyborg journalist. <laughs> All right, let's put in the movie. What has the world taught me? Nothing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, we're hitting play. This may or may not have like beginnings, so uh, we don't know. Well, we're at 13 seconds with the VHS in there, so you know you can. Yeah, they play had along like a lot of like filler. Warning! Any commercial use or duplication of this copyright material is forbidden by federal law. Well, shit. Haha. Ha. We have fair use, motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're at the Vidmart Entertainment. Oh god, it got bigger. Jesus. Oh god. Available. Never mind, also available. What great movies are also available? Oh, we're back in Vidmar. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Here, I should probably turn that down, shouldn't I? Well, at least we can hear it. The Educational Defense Fund. Oh god, it's a school shooting. Oh. None of these people are, are high schoolers. They're like 30s. Right? The fuck I Why aren't you gentlemen in class? Why are you wearing so much eyeliner? Why are you wearing a tuxedo with a snake on the back of it? See, look at that. I think somebody like spray painted the back of it. But it's a tuxedo. You just like threw a grenade in the car and turned your, and turned around. What he didn't even fuck? he didn't even throw the grenade in there. He he activated it and then just let it go. Activated the grenade and pulled the pen. Yeah, he activated it. He activated his trap grenade. I think they're using Cyborg as an excuse to be bad actors. Right? Is this the movie? No, I think he but they, he shot him. So I'm assuming he is also a Cyborg. Or, you know, yes, they are like shooting him and he's like, has no emotion. Yeah, but like, is this... Is this preview for Cyborg Cop? No, Class, class of, of 1999 two, 2 The Substitute. What the fuck happened to 1? It was already made. Oh my god, these old movie promos. This summer. Let me guess, did somebody cheat on somebody else? MP? Moderately played. <laughs> Military police. <laughs> oh wait, this is um, this is uh, a fuck. This is Return a fuck. To, Return of the Living Dead, Ray to the Grave. I know this movie. How the fuck do you know that? Because, because uh, Return of the Living Dead is an amazing series, and it's I was like, this is gonna be zombies, isn't it? I was like, oh yeah. Ugh. No, don't do it again. Yeah. Uh. They had the Mud Man in this? This is his name, Mud Man. I don't know. I think this is like four. Two. Like the fourth one. If you ever want to watch the Ray to the uh, Night Return of the Living Dead series, John, I have like all of them. What the fuck even is this? You know, um, uh, Night of the Living Dead. No. Yes, he returned the Living Dead. I have three. I've, okay, I've, it's three, not four. I've never. Ah. Uh. It's called. It was like yeah, but it's called like the tagline is like Ray to the Grave. So you never seen Night of the Living Dead? No. It's like the first like major zombie movie. No, never seen it. Huh. What is that urine? Apparently. 
But um, it's like a zombie movie by George A. Romero. Have you seen any of the uh, Night of the Living Dead, um, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead? Oh my god. Nope. I got some bad news, Joe. I, you know what? I forget that you've seen like five movies in your life, and yes. most of them are like Marvel. And most of them are this. Yeah. All right, so maybe I can show you that series. We could actually, because it's really funny. Uh, so Night, Night of the Living Dead, is like a serious like um, zombie movie. The original is like black and white, and because of an issue with how they set up the um, the copyright. Mm-hmm. It's essentially open so that you can like anybody can use it. Essentially, it's like there's it's like uh, open source. So it's one of those ones we could actually uh, stream public, to YouTube. Yeah, public domain. Like that. If you ever get like a like a collection of like a bunch of like movies, it's like always listed because it's public domain. Hmm. Um. So the original was like that. So you know, um, you had George Andrew Romero, and I, you know, I forget his name. There's like somebody else who was involved with it as well. George A. Romero wanted to make, like, a more serious series, uh-huh. and um, the other guy wanted to make a more comedic series. So they met in the middle with this? No, no, no. Uh, they split up. Right. Uh, the court basically said, okay, you, George A. Romero, you can sit with, like, you know, the, the first part of the name, you know, mm-hmm. day, of, day of, Night of, Day, which is why all those are, like, Night of the Dead. Or uh, Night of the Living Dead, and then Dawn of the Dead, and and um, Day of the Dead. I've heard of Shaun of the Dead, but I never watched. Shaun of the Dead is like a. I also have Shaun of the Dead. Um, that's like a t- uh, comedic take on that. Hmm. Um, and then you have, and then on the, and then there's like a few other ones, right? There's a uh, School of the Dead. Uh, well, Land of the Dead. I think there's School of the Dead, and then there's like another one. That I think George A. I think it was George A. Romero did though. Anyway, um, the other man though, he got uh, said, okay, you can't use the day part, but you get Living Dead. Yeah. So he kept the Living Dead, which is why it's called Return of the Living Dead. George A. Romero made a more serious Dawn of Dawn of the Dead, and then the other man made Return of the Living Dead. Yeah. And Return of the Dead series is where they get the idea of Gypsy Angels. Oh my God. What the fuck? Return of the Living Dead is where you get the idea that zombies eat brains. Oh. Uh. And, like, two of the people from, like, the first two, like, Return and the second one is, like, different people. And it's more comedic. Mm. Upside down. Upside down. What the fuck? I don't think you can say that anymore. What? Gypsy. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's a slur. Let's find out. Are you really looking it up? Yeah, I'm gonna Google it. I think it's like a Romanian, like, because people like travel around. So, because they're not in one place, like, they see them, they're seen as like outsiders mm. who are racist. Okay, we're at new image. Right now, the new image scene is up. This is where the movie is starting. Uh, is it? Up. Are you sure we don't have more fucking. Yeah, it's, it's a little new image scene. So, this is probably where I'll put the start. Yeah, New Year's presents a new world presentation. There you go. If you want to like meet up with us, here you go. It's a, a film by Sam uh, Ferg- Fergensberg. If you're watching the VHS, we just hit eight minutes. Cyborg Cop. Is They're the probably cop. not watching the VHS. <laughs> David Bradley. John's still trying to figure out if Gypsy is a slur, it looks like. Ah, I stopped it. <laughs> I stopped Googling it. It didn't give me a straight answer, and I'm like, I don't want to click links. <laughs> so I was like, eh, fuck it. Someone John Reese Davies as Kessel, the Kessel Run. Greg Ladder. Or Later? I guess it's Later. Paul Fishman. Was he an Aquaman? <laughs> the DEA, you know, Alan Patillo. You know, Patillo. I'm pretty sure that every DEA agent always wears giant letters on the back of their clothing. Tell you they're the DEA right? when they're like sneaking around the place. <laughs> what if that broke? Why would you do that? The Department of Energy and Appliances. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Lerner! Well, at least he was taught. Yeah? Not uh, Furstenberg. Oh, I read that as Fistenberg. Yeah, because you know, we want to reveal our position. He's over here! 
I think he's facing the other guy. Yeah, see, he's cussing and laughing maniacally. He's obviously the bad guy. Ah. And that's his DEA. And as an audience member, we have to like the DEA. You oh, know, yes. they're just going after mostly just people who, honest working people who just want to sell you some drugs. What the fuck? Steam gave me an ad for Two Point Campus. I don't want to Why buy not three point shit for $40. Look at this. Okay, well, somebody might. Oh. I want two point five million dollars in a helicopter. And I'm Mark Bills. How did that poor girl get roped into this? Well, oh my God, it's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> he put his hell. He put his hat back when he was serious. Put the fucking hat back. He's about to catch a caterpie. Let's go. <laughs> Go! Gun! Go, go, gadget DEA agents. <laughs> Why don't you shoot when they're running after you? You're shooting when they're like not behind anything. Right? They're really bad at Call of Duty. Let me reload. Hold on. What is it? What is he? He's in... I assume some certain type of bullet. Is it silver bullets? Is it meth? Is, I'm assuming hollow point? I don't know what that means. Or explosive? Um, so full metal jackets are like more may Okay, it's armor piercing, it looks like. I think it's what it's supposed to be. Full I like how he's jiggling as he dies. <laughs> well, that's, you know... Oh, <laughs> panties. You know, that's Jeez. how you know he's dead. Uh, a full metal jacket is like, the bullet is like solid, so it's made usually to like, to go through people. Uh. Um... Uh, hollow point is where it's like it deforms a lot more, so you get more shrapnel, so it's more to like kill people. Uh, Versus because like going through you is a little bit easier to like more, you get more piercing, but it also, um, if you're fighting like on the battlefield, usually the full metal jackets will make it so that the idea behind it is. If a, you get in, if a soldier gets injured, but they're not like completely killed, you can remove them off the battlefield, and then you have like three people who are away, mm. and that kind of works more to your favor than like you know just making sure somebody like gets killed. So are these newspapers printed from like these last two years? Uh, nineteen ninety-two. I don't know. This looks familiar. <laughs> what cops being killed? <laughs> no cops. Killed. Anyway, that's a bad discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a kid. What? Look, a leather jacket and combed over hair. This is the 90s. Yeah, you know it's the 90s because there's not like a bunch of people out front who are protesting. There's a kid in a bar. Yeah, there's a kid in a bar. Oh my god, there's a kid in the bar. A cherry coat for a little man. Oh, uh, see, for me, and this dates me, I would just get like, because my dad worked in a restaurant when I got off of school when I was in like, when I was nine, I would just go to the restaurant because it was like free daycare. And I just got Shirley Temple's at the bar. I was like, just Shirley Temple? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. So basically, Sprite with uh, cherries mixing in? Yeah, pretty much. Well, he, just got, he got Coke with cherries in it. Well, fuck him. <laughs> Can I get a rum and Coke, hold the rum, add cherries? Yeah, please. And they're like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Officially his kid. I, is that like divorce? Is it a custody battle? I don't I'm understand. There's a guy down there. He's looking at me funny. I think he wants to buy me dinner, but I'm not quite sure yet. And the one guy is like supposed to be dead, right? The one cop got killed. Uh, no, I think it just because he came out like afterwards, and he just like was holding his neck, so I think it just like grazed him. Yet a bullet in the neck of any type should kill you. But well, I guess it won't. Where it goes? Well, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Is like he said, like cop killer. So I'm like, was the other cop dead, or is this one of those? Oh, they no, don't have was, like a scar in their neck. It was killer cop, not cop killer. They're mad because oh, they were, they're mad because he killed somebody. He God. killed the publisher's son. Who they claim was the kid. I don't know. 
Oh, okay. So the one guy is like, okay. So he's probably, so basically what they're saying is that the newspaper is corrupt. Whoa, false statement. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that the newspaper would print things that aren't true. I can't believe people are still reading newspapers. He asked for a cherry Coke, he got a fucking glass of milk. I don't know if I just misheard him or if that was just, they just didn't care. I feel the latter is more correct. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Check back in five minutes, please. Well, at least they could afford helicopters. Yeah. Oh, what the, the way it hit the helicopter. <laughs> Why are they flying so fucking low anyway? Um, maybe that was just the only thing that they weren't. Uh, not warrant, but their uh, permits that they could do. Alright. You cannot hit legal airspace. What the fuck? They're gorillas. I guess. They're like... They're the A-Team! <gasps> no, A -team? you know they are not the budget in this movie for the A-Team. They're like the R-Team. <laughs> the R-Team? Yeah, they they're got... the A-Team's B-Team. Yeah. They're like the A-Team... You've gone way past Z in the letters... You're at, like, the number 8. <laughs> you go 8 through Z, 1 through 10, and then we're at 8. And it's like, well, there's somebody worse than us. We're now in the Jewish <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> we're in <laughs> the Jewish alphabet. I don't know any Jewish oh, word or alphabets. Well, I don't know what was happening just then. <laughs> there's a lot of flashing going on. Yeah, that's just, that's just bad VHS quality. I love that I he's just talking perfect, perfectly normal under the under the walkie talkie. They're up there. We're gonna go 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 in three hours. Can't oh, yeah. they're, in, they're in like a they're in a freaking plane. I don't care. <laughs> we have an enemy vessel, an enemy vessel, Captain. I think one guy was eating his microphone. Yeah, you gotta get closer to the microphone. Fuck that. I like the other ones. Like, oh, I'm, I'm being very sneaky on my boat. He's like trying to hide. Even though he's like just on a boat. Watch out for piranhas! Yeah, right? Oh, no, here they come. They got the gun all wet! Oh god, they almost crashed. Thank god the gun's float. the gun is floating, otherwise it might be in trouble. You're right. Oh god, it's gonna hit the camera! So you, you drop them into the water to pick them up on a boat, even though he's already here. I like how they're all and just you like, had like a coastline you could have landed on. They're all hunkered down in the boat, like nobody will see us now. Yeah, no, it's just you're not under fire. I'm pretty sure that was just somebody's farm. Where the fuck is there a cyborg in this movie? <laughs> Maybe we haven't gotten to the cyborg part. You know, I know this is probably supposed to be like you know South America. I don't think it even told us. Uh, like some jungle somewhere, but you can totally tell it's like, you know, somebody's backyard yeah. farm in, like, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Georgia. Yeah, I was going to say it's like a Georgia park. Mm -hmm. Well, those look at least more tropical now. We went to, you know, the Confederate forest to, like, the actual rainforest, man. It's too much movement for it to, like, allow you to figure out where it is. They're like, wait! There's guns nearby. I must shoot them with my gun. Oh, well, that just gives me Oh, well, it's private property. We have to... What, what are you doing? It's private property. You can't trespass in there. Do you have a warrant, sir? I'm going to assume that they do not. I like that we're all we're dressed all in black. Except for me. I'm not going in blue jeans. I want to not blend in with my environment. He's wearing khaki pants! He's wearing cargo khaki pants. Yeah, that's side pocket. We're coming through the corn. Get down. down. It's a plane. He was totally looking at us. It looks like an RC plane. It does. It sounds like ass. I think it might just be an RC plane. They're like, well, if you get like really far and you just like don't have any trees in the shot, nobody would know the difference. Yeah, well, see, oh, it, it is, is an RC plane. <laughs> Never mind. It's literally a drone. <laughs> Look at this fucker. Oh, he's got aviators! Why doesn't the man he flies have aviators? Why do you all wear masks? It's not 2020. 
So I said wait and let me know in five minutes at 1450. I got 40 seconds to know if they die or not. Shit! The <laughs> chicken's like, what the fuck? They went to a new scene. Everybody's fine now. Go that way. You don't want to hit me in the fucking face. Right. Yeah, you know, the whistle man with his aviators. Wow, that's really hidden. And they're like, bro, did you see that movie last night? Man, fuck. You gotta do the laundry still. Nobody in this movie is trying to be, you know, cautious or, like, hide. It's like they just figured out what a shooting game was, and they're, like, doing the janky, like, crouch up and down hiding. Oh, God. Hmm. Help me! I'm running across the screen. Oh, God. We didn't know there was going to be two fences here. <laughs> How do I know what to do? There's two fences. You know there's fuckers like nowhere in the shot and then all of a sudden there's fuckers in the shot. Oh good, they still have it. Right. I love how they like kind of put in their like black makeup on their face and then also kind of didn't. Panasonic? Panasonic? It's a BL200. What the fuck are they? I wonder if Panasonic paid for a, uh, a spot in this movie. Or if they were just like, oh, fuck it. We want to see that they're on cameras. Right? I don't think they paid to be in here. No. Aside usually, from you paying for the cameras. Yeah. That's usually what it is. It's like, well, <sighs> they just blur out uh, things so that if they get a, a spot, like, like, you know, they have Sony who wants to, like, put in the commercials right. on top of this. They won't be, like, upset at Panasonic. Is like be getting free publicity and they're not. They hold up a TI-85 and they're like, look at the all new TI something calendar. Calculator. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm glad that the bad guys are next to the red barrel, which I'm sure will explode at some point. Barrel! I got like that tense music and everybody's fucking running around. Mm, tense music. This is like sleepy town music. Yeah. Do, do, do. do. That dude's do, makeup do, do, is do. shit. Look at him. Yeah, they're all of them are shit. <laughs> what is it? My RC car! They know! Plane! It's a car when I'm at plane. My RC car? <laughs> Watch this shit! Do you have guns on the RC plane? That'd be funny as shit. Oh, you're gonna hit him the crotch? You're gonna hit him the crotch, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> well, that's kind of like the crotch. Fucking shit exploded. Oh god, they're fighting back. We thought they were surrender. <laughs> we thought they were surrender. We thought they would surrender. Oh, I heard were. Well, maybe I said it. You know. Just shoot the red barrels. It's like a video game. <laughs> oh god, grenade. I like how the grenade like blew up the building and he didn't get hit by any shrapnel. I love how he's got a shotgun. <laughs> Balloon. Oh chicken no, the poor chickens. Oh god, the farm! Oh, it's big hoss now, here he goes! Oh, he's dead. Oh. Meanwhile, this dude's like, ah! Is that Kessel? He's got really fat fingers. He is also very fat. Hey man, respect. Black guy didn't die first. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Oh, I no, drew a was... line on his neck! That means he's dead! That was really slow too. Well yeah, you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the you don't want the actor to get hurt. Yeah, right? We no. want him. Hey, boss. What is it, Hitsman number 247? Ah! If you have, like, invincible uh, cyborgs, why don't you send them out instead of us? Yeah, where the fuck are the cy- We are 23 minutes into this movie. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not entirely accurate. There was eight minutes of, <laughs> of shit before it. Yeah. Um, so, like, 15- We only had the budget for, like, three cyborgs. 
Yeah, but... And one this. of them is going to be, like, the comedic, like, uh, oh, no, bad things are going to happen. They're going to go AWOL and break. <laughs> oh, no, bad things And then are I'm going to yell happen. and, like, maybe shoot a subordinate. Instead of, like, saying, hey, if something goes bad, I want you to tell me the bad news immediately. Instead of waiting, because you're afraid I'm going to kill you if you do. The main dude in this... The one who just yelled, Johnny, let's move. He looks like he's from the 90s. Oh, he's, he's fucking... That guy. I can't move. I'm suddenly bleeding. My knee hurts. <laughs> this is where all their budget went into the expl... Oh, there it is! Yeah! Yes! This movie got instantly better. <laughs> But also instantly more ass. Well, they had a bigger budget than uh, Outlaw Profit, that's for sure. I mean, you're right. <laughs> but that barrel is not a barrel. But I will say this, though, Sean. Mm -hmm. It's not Jesus Christ fighting zombies with swordfish. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. Like, all of their money went into gasoline. Mm-hmm. Remember, cool men don't look at explosions. No, they were still looking as they walked away. <laughs> so was that the cyborg cop that he was talking Maybe to? Maybe. He, he, his eyes were open very big. He didn't show emotion. So he's either a bad actor or a cyborg. <laughs> my, my money's on the former. Why not both? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be too Hard easy. shells and soft shell tacos. What? Mayday, mayday. We don't have enough tacos to support everybody. He copies. Did you say oak? No, he said let's go back and hit him. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, see, look, he has, he has a cyborg foot. <gasps> and gloves. <clears throat> He's just like, Is he bitch. the substitute teacher? Oh my god. He's like, you wish you fucked it. He has a vest on. Let's shoot at the vest more. Let's not go for the face at all. Well, that would take a lot of prosthetics. You're right. He looks like he's constipated. He does. Oh! Oh no! He finally got shoot. He put the gun back. He shuffled it. He was like... Ay, 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 ay. He's like, ow, you shooted me. See, we didn't have to do the shot. We had to wait for him to get closer. He's like, the fuck? Are you Wolverine or something? Yo! Oh, God, my arm! Oh, what oh, God, my naked? penis! Who's this? I think he's the same guy. Babe, come back to sleep. It was just imaginary cyborg cop. It wasn't real cyborg cop. I think cop. it's supposed to be flash forward. Oh wait, is this the brother? I think it's a dream. I don't know. Is this? Is this? Why uh, is he sleeping with a gun? You I have think this is Phil's activity. brother, Jack, played by David Bradley, star of American Ninja three and four. God damn it! <laughs> I need the other model. Well, obviously, he's time. not unstoppable. He got stopped pretty well. Yeah. I like he just had a shot of his penis. Yeah. It's in the shot. What are you looking there? <laughs> What do you mean while I was looking there? It was very obvious. Not to me. <laughs> he, just got, he just got really close in, and you just see his bulge. Oh! Did you see? No! He's like, I am sleep. No, he's dead. We gotta make him to a cyborg now. Yeah. I think the film's trying to commit Harry Carey over here. Maintain condition. Start? C start? Do you <laughs> have to hit the C button to start the game? To press... To start, press any key. <laughs> yeah. Where's the any key, Jim? Uh, Are you a cyborg yet? Are you not dead anymore? 
Cyborg system. <laughs> Cyborg system. What the fuck is this? Uh, I guess we're removing an arm. Yep, there we go. Oh! Ew, you can see the armpit hair. We're putting in a new arm into his, uh, just cut open. His already existing arm. Yeah. You see, like, his horrible armpit hair. Cyborg systems. Mm hmm. Now we have this really cool light. All right, let's see. It's move. It's working. The hand works with this remote control. Right. With. Oh my God! A package, yo! It's a face. Mr. Jack Ryan. Oh, they're gonna sit on his arm, aren't they? That's what it is. Why does he look like the dude from Full House? Full House or Fuller House? It's probably the '80s hair. Yes. What? It, what could this be? It got straw. What is this? It's a toy car. They got like broken? I guess. Is this a sign? Should we know about this? I don't remember this part of it. Oh, is there more in the box? Oh, it has a false bottom that customs wouldn't have looked at. Ha 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 ha, it has bamboo legs. Bamboo? Okay. The fuck? Another false bottom. <laughs> ah. Okay. Random electronics in the background, too. Right. Uh, good thing I have my trusty tape recorder from Panasonic. Panasonic! Yeah. Federal Express. <laughs> Why would you ship him, like, a broken toy? Give him the toy? <laughs> Give him the toy. It's fucking broken. Maybe he can fix it. There's weed in this bamboo stick. Smoke it hard before you get here. So you won't have any idea what the fuck's happening. Dude, those swords are not going to be used. I'm going to be very cross. That one sword on the bottom looks like the one I gave my dad like three years ago. Yeah, it's like a saber. And he has like an old gun over there. Yeah. And you know they're not getting used. I know, that's why I'm very that's why I'm very cross. They're You're not gonna get cross. used. Yeah, I'm very upset. <laughs> he does have a really cool old desk lamp. You're right. From God. Like the seventies. That is some old shit that you would see. Of course. The old cool desk lamp. It's green. Hmm. So I guess the dad is the son of the dad of the kid, and he's like the cool uncle who like isn't a scumbag, Why but wears like a leather voice? jacket. Why are you playing with a broken toy? He looks like shitty bonds. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad won't let you down. Oh, my dad let me down. Oh, no. He's never let me down before. Until he let me down. Yeah, but my dad picked me up, and then he put me down, so he let me down. God damn it. <sighs> Better go to class before they think, you know, stranger danger with me. Get the emotional hug, you know, build a, build a camaraderie here. Oh, he's not such a bad guy. He's, you know, an uncle who loves his nephew and gobbledy shit. Where the fuck are these jumps happening from? We went through a school to this. Yeah. Pacing. No! <laughs> There's none of that in here. <laughs> Remember, John, apparently he has to get from, like, person to this. And he's going to have this big eye with, like, a whole bunch of, like, electronics in it. And, like, this uh, skull cap. That is literally just, like, a webcam on a face. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then there's, like, this cool eye. I imagine if you scan that, would your camera think it's a QR code? No, it's just, like, a cool eye. Oh. 
I'll do it. Where's my brother? Why does it look like he's wearing a speedo? I think it's just a fanny pack. You know the regs. Where are they? Where are they at? There's just this dude playing pool back there. He's just like, man, you got nothing to do with me. You go to the bar and they're like, all right, guys, listen, there's going to be some people yelling in here. It's all staged. Nobody's upset. Don't call the police. <laughs> and you deserve them. Mr. Philip, please! He wiped the spit from his face. You say, you gotta go save my brother. It's like, dude, if you do that, more people are gonna die. Then you go back for the body. But the people were dead! Damn, he punched him far. <laughs> the people in the bar are just like, well, I'm just gonna step out of the way. Yeah, it's One like, black guy's like, shit. This is like, man, white people will be going crazy again. Did you see that ketchup bottle? Yeah. Fell over. The fuck was this? Oh, man. I, it's almost like they're not even hitting each other. Yeah. Fire! See, look. He's wearing a Speedo again. Uh, he literally just, like, completely raped all of you. He completely fucked with you. Yeah, he just fucked all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna need a drink. Uh. No, what, what the fuck? Oh, the one time I leave. What happened? It had, like, that really bad, like, you know, the car tire squeak screeching, mm -hmm. but it was for a fucking jet. <laughs> you would think that they would think about Look, it's thing. a cyborg hand, but it's like somebody just kind of holding it out. Yeah. So they can, like, grab things. Because <laughs> I think that's where his phone was being put. That's that same scientist guy, but with a tan. Yeah, so he just, like, grab it up. Oh, my God. He put it in the hand to put it on. He's, like, trying to put it back on, but he just can't see it. It's like, I will learn to hang up this phone. Wait, who the fuck is this? How do we know her? Island Tours. There's a telephone number down there. 613... Two, I think four one or one four. I can't say it. Uh, that's four one, but that's still not a phone number. Well, maybe in the nineties it was. Oh, you reporter! This is how I know you. Well, God will be good. Oh my god, he's insulting the media and calling them vultures! Oh my god, he threw her press bag badge into the trash. She's like, well now I just can't... How did she get it out so fast? Uh, he also like crushed it up and put it in. I guess it was just right on top. She pretty much just said, hey. If you're angry at the press, it's probably because you want to hide something. And he was just like, no, I was essentially raped by you. <laughs> well, judging by what I see, you were probably at fault. <clears throat> Crumble up press badge. Unfortunately, she went on to work for Gawker. What is Gawker? Um, an old, like, slum, uh, muckraking, slummy, uh, art, like, uh, they used to write articles, uh, sensationalized articles, and got sued. No? Nope. <laughs> uh, they got sued by, uh, Hulk Hogan, and then they, like, went under. Oh. Because of, <laughs> because of the suit.
is the reincarnation of that the guy who was on the internet for like a very long time which is like getting mad about turning the frogs gay no that's uh alex jones alex jones has his own thing Only kill at command? I will kill at your command, is what he said, yeah. This is his brother. I mean, hey, you know what? He could have had a worse fate. He could have just hung up a phone all the time. So we're not doing the comedic um, RoboCop. We just have the two. And you know, like, Universal Soldier, they're, like, just people. Hmm. With, like, cyborg stuff. Oh god, he's gonna hit the he's gonna hit the natives. Oh no! Alright, he got away. No, they got out of the way. I don't even think they're extras, I think they're just in the way. He's just like, oh. So I think they're supposed to be in the Caribbean. But I don't know if the Caribbean drive on the uh um, With the right side. Yeah, they drive on the right side. So I'm thinking they might be somewhere in like Europe, possibly. I don't. I don't know. Maybe Australia drives on the right hand side. I don't know. I don't know, but this looks like a backstreet barbecue. Uh oh! Look, it's the reporter again. Yeah. The fuck. I'm trying to act, and I'm doing a horrible job of it. She sounds like she has a really gruff dude voice. I'm not lying. I think this is Kate. Well, Kate, not a great actor there. Got a little Jesus necklace. Yeah, right. And his little not-so-Jesus necklace. But he's wearing sunglasses, so... You know they totally have a thing for each other. Oh, he took the, he put the glasses down with the, with the <laughs> plank. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, put She's it back She's biting up. her bottom lip. Zap. Oh, but. Mm, okay, so love interest, guys. Did you see that? She sure like, <laughs> She's like, get the fuck away from my car. Uh, okay, so he was 80 yard. God, she sounds terrible. I know, typical white Karen. Everyone's just like, hey, calm down, it'll be alright, just relax. And she's just like... They're like, oh, okay. Okay, white American woman. Sure, we're gonna be leaving in like, you know, 18 hours, but you're, you're good. He's like, don't touch me. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> not even their <laughs> truck. It's not even theirs. So this passport is listed for Alex Trebek, and you definitely do not look like Alex Trebek. This could be your mom. Yeah, it is definitely their person. She's like, oh no. She's gonna go, I'm oh. gonna go to sleep in like my bra only jacket apparently. Why is she taking her shirt off? What's the purpose of this? Uh, she's switching out clothes, it looks like. For what? He didn't even do anything yet! <laughs> really? How did he throw him so hard? He has uh, 80s action mainstream appeal. Why are you naked now? She's trying to change. This is terribly situational for her. I guess she's like very hot. As in temperature-wise, and she's trying to change. Well, now she's just getting fucking all sorts of thrown around in there. They're like, put the gate down! When you got through, put the gate up! Fuck it! <laughs> what? Police with, like, a Jesus thing on it? 
Yeah. I don't know what Caribbean country is supposed to have, like... Not you! Stop! I have to pee! I was trying to change! Into my pants. God, the fucking noises she's making. Yeah. Fuck! Oh! That's why she was hired to make noises. You change your clothes, apparently. Yeah. This fucking ass driving. Ass driving? I was more concerned with the banjo music. I mean, you're right. <laughs> Are we gonna get a deuce of hazard jumping over something when the cops like break uh, break up? Please, I need it. I need it now. <laughs> but you notice the shots where like they are driving and they're not driving. So we're supposed to be in a Caribbean like some Caribbean country, and yet it looks like the trees are preparing for winter. Yeah. I don't know how much winter do they have in the tropics. Well, they do have a winter season. Yeah, but the winter season is like, what, like, monsoon season, isn't it? It's like more water, rain? Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know if, like, tropical trees and everything have, like, a no-leaf dormancy period in the Caribbean. Well, we're going through a little creek. Oh, it slipped! Yay! We... We didn't have a Dukes of Hatchet like jumping over or something, but we have one wipeout so far. Oh, uh, wow, their lowest temperature is 73 degrees. Yeah, so, like, I don't know if trees in the Caribbean, like, go through a dormancy period. Oh, no, I'm going straight for some reason. I can't see in the smoke. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that, oh, no. Oh, the car's on fire. He fell oh. down again. I swear to fuck if that car... There God damn it! it goes! How does the car explode? 80s action music! 80s action music? Yeah. But there were banjos and shit. Yep. I didn't say it was good action music. At least nobody got hurt. <laughs> I got wet. Are you? Hey! You? She wasn't apparently in anything else. <laughs> now he's just like, wouldn't it be a nice story? I'm just trying to be an ass. She's like, I'm angry. Like, fine, I'll get in the back of the car. Oh my god. What? Uh so I was I was trying to I was looking stuff up yeah. to try to see if there is like what she played in or mm. anything if she did anything else. And I learned apparently there's a not only is there a cyber cop three, but yeah. there's a cyber cop two. Why does there need to be more than the one? I don't know. Uh, apparently, uh, we have uh, a David Bradley, Cyber Cop 3, and then we have uh, Cyber Cop, uh, that's 2, I'm sorry. Then we have Cyber Cop 3, but the title just says Terminal Impact. Oh my fucking god. I thought you said Terminal Illness. <laughs> no, Terminal Impact. Uh, does this still have everybody in it? I don't know, it looks slightly different. That's not English. I love how the enemy in this movie, like the villain quotes, is just a crazy rich island man. God damn it. I just want you to look at it's this uh, Cyber Cop 3 cover. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, no. Give, give me that back. There's so much to process here. 
<laughs> Who are any of these people? I don't. Th- I think they couldn't get the main actor for Cyber Cop Three. So why even make it? They just because they couldn't make money off of it. What money did they make? Uh, Cyber Cop Three. But you can probably look. Uh, that's videos, photos. Okay, so cast. So we got David Bradley, Kessel, oh, Philip. This movie's 95 minutes long. I want to die. Yeah, like an hour and something, right? Hour and a half. That's typical whole movie, Liam. That's a scene. It does not tell me how much they made. Who the fuck is Kathy? Who's Kathy? I don't know. It just has a girl here. The first woman listed that says Kathy. I think it might have been the one woman who was like at the very beginning, very, very beginning. But she's listed as top cast, so I'm very confused. A need to throw the man out of the car. Is that supposed to be Kate? What the fuck? Why is she naked? Uh, she's not. She's just that's just like a modeling picture. Oh. Do you know if that's the same woman? It looks familiar, at least in the face. Yeah, I can't really tell. But I was just looking at some of the things that they did. Like Double Impact, King of New York, Cyber Cop. Apparently, in 2000, um, and this is uh, Alona Shaw, so I guess we can look to see if Alona Shaw is listed as Kate at the end of this movie, Mm. Uh, but she was apparently um, an actress in the Drew Carey show, credited only as woman. As woman. Yeah. God damn it. Kathy. Is that where they're getting Kate from? They must be. But they spell Kate with a K and Kathy with a C. And it's just top billing. I don't think the other woman who was like in his bed was going to be like top actress of the movie. Hmm. She's just there. Hmm. Ruthless Swart as Cyborg. It doesn't tell me how much it made. <laughs> Probably nothing. I imagine so. Yeah, let's see if we have anything here. Yeah, so Cyber Cop 3 was released as Terminal Impact. Mm <laughs> hmm. Apparently. So, I guess by that point, they just kind of gave up on it a little bit. They were like, this this franchise is dead. Yeah. <clears throat> it got away from us. <laughs> uh, let's see. A nuclear family, huh? That's so hilarious. <laughs> you know, 
We have to accept our lives are at stake. I was making a joke. Hmm. Oh wait, this one actually has a... What the fuck? Oh, that's just horrible. Woman hostage. Oh, I guess she was at the very beginning. Why are they all naked? Uh, it's hot. I guess. You can still wear a shirt! It's hot and some cultures don't really care about breasts as much as like the West does. Bank. So I'm on um, Film Moria looking at CyberCop and it just says release date mm -hmm. uh, August uh, 5th, I'm sorry, uh, October 5th, 1993. Movie revenue, $0. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming it probably just isn't listed. And not peeping Tom. Yeah, that's that same person. Okay. So apparently we went, we, somehow we went from Kath, from Kate here to Kathy. Oh, and there was news revealed today that you need to be aware of, and that's going to date this movie. They have revealed the date for the third Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It's in two and a half years. Well, I guess I'm time to make it. Yep. I mean, it's usually how it is. It's usually like several years. I don't know why they would release the date or like how long it's going to be. I just know it's janky, and we're going to go see that in two years. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, mm. it's like December 2024, and I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, they're trying to do like a Christmas release? Yeah. Maybe it'll get pushed back, and we can have a fuck you this January. <laughs> You're a drug dealer. I can't believe it. Basically, it's explaining about, I guess, his brother and everything. She's like, I just met you, and I think you're horrible and a drug dealer, but because I'm a woman in a 90s movie, I'm going to fall in love. Yeah, she's, like, still in a towel. They're just having an emotional, like, why? He just said smuggling it in and out is easy, but yeah. getting it in is hard. Yeah, smuggling it in, that's a quote. <laughs> it's a quote. You can't quote him on that. Getting it in and out, smuggling it in and out. It's like, getting it in and out is easy. Smuggling it in is hard. <laughs> Oh, now that now the flirties are coming. Question is, John, does she have nudity written into her contract? You know what? I don't know anymore. Well, so far, it's a no. Is there any the other girl before? I don't. I'm gonna, gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Well, I no, think the that other was one just... was like with Welcome from the Dead. I think it was with him. The other girl, the random yeah. girl at the very beginning. Uh, he was also in the bed. She, like, turned over and she, like, was also, like, had no clothes on, but it was, like, oh, I'm not going to show my breasts. I was like, okay, so basically you didn't have it written into your contract for it. What the fuck is happening here? Oh. She's like, mm, maybe. I'm pretty sure that's sexual assault. <laughs> She's like, instant regret. But... <laughs> She's like, I feel so gross. Well, the first one, she, like, went back, and the second one, she, like, didn't as much. See, now they're driving on the left side, but he has a car that is opposite. I mean, the road doesn't really have, like, anything in it, so I don't know if they're really driving. And look, they even have, like, uh, is it Ford? They even have, like, a, uh, European, like, tags on yeah. their car that's supposed to be in the Caribbean. Right. At least I think it's Caribbean. I'm pretty sure at some point somebody said, whoa, that's really close. Hmm. I'm pretty sure somebody said Caribbean at some point in this movie. But I could just be going insane. It's possible. How are we now, like, best friends in this movie? <laughs> Mario! Incredible. We're just going to stand here. Oh, 
<laughs> I have been very incredulous about this entire situation and these drugs. What is he, Doctor Evil? No, he's British. Which I guess technically uh, Michael Myers is. I think he's British. Maybe not. I don't know. I like how he's like, well, why, why do you, why do you need to know? As I eat my candy cigarette. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, can you smell the cigarette? It's like, I really don't, uh, I don't like smell. And it's like, well, uh, okay, just, just, just play it? with it. Just, just like, twiddle with it. Yeah, hook it in your mouth. Sometimes taste the paper. Oh, you. I'm sorry, it's the only rooms they had. They only had doubles, and then she goes down to the concierge, and they're like, no, we offered them two single beds. I'm trying to figure out if he is trying to look like James Bond in GoldenEye, or if it just happens because he's like a dark, like a black-haired guy in like the 90s. No, it's just shitty Fonz, like I told you. <laughs> shitty Fonz? Yeah. What if, what if Double Seven? Wore a leather jacket. Oh my god, that's so cool. <coughs> yeah, I turn my fucking phone now so it stops beeping. <laughs> like, ah! Uh... Oh, Can you remember that guy who's necessary to the plot? Yeah. He's here. He just left <laughs> with nuts. He took my bar chocolate. <laughs> They are not gonna crap. Oh my god, that dude! He's like half balding with a giant porn stash. Look at that. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the Caribbean. I don't know why they just didn't say what other British country they're in. Right? That would be too hard. And everything here says Caribbean. Or somewhere around the Caribbean. The Jive Bar. It's not a dive bar, it's a drive bar. They're driving. Oh, and then there's this random lady who just shows up and is just like, Hi, ah. I have a crop top. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a night walker. A what? Prostitute, John. Uh, it's a prostitute. I've never heard the term night walker before. <laughs> Street walker, maybe? No. No. What is she doing out in the middle of the day, then? Trying to get money for sex. No. And now there's another. The, the other girl is going to think there's a completely unreasonable uh, explanation for everything that's happening. Why is she just grabbing crotch? Because she's a prostitute. They need to understand boundaries. Looking for an American guy, and they all point at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's you! Maybe you play a hand and you win, and I tell you, oh god, the problem. They're gaining after him. 
Who's this guy? Play cards with you to see this Mr. Kessel run. <laughs> Mr. Kessel run? Yeah, that's what I just think of fucking Star Wars because they call him Mr. Kessel. Yeah, come here. <laughs> it's like, alright, alright, I'll go see the villain of the movie. Jesus. No oh god, there's a cat. Yep. Come on. This like ass nineties fighting stage shit. <laughs> I swear to god if I get another Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Look at how happy he is with his knife. He's like, eh I have a big knife. He's wearing a fanny pack! Yes, John, he's been wearing a fanny pack the whole movie. I just get intrigued by fanny packs. <laughs> you asked him twice. Yeah. I feel like my first question was too vague. Is it my brother? You're just like holding his arm. Oh, 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 right into the breakaway glass. Question is, is it sugar glass or is it just that like really soft polymer that they use? It's like sugar glass. Well, they have sugar glass and then they have this other one, which is kind of like a, it's like almost, it's like a polymer that breaks away really easily, mm -hmm. but it looks jagged. Yeah. So you don't actually hurt yourself. They just add the sound and afterwards. Right. Now she's all dressed up, but her hair's down. And straight. I was thinking that, you know, I'm blonde. Maybe I could get a job at Fox News. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. Just stretched and decided to scratch my arm a little bit there. Yep, and then she did a loop and then sat down. Mm -hmm. Right in front of the fucking camera. Well, not camera, but uh, the microphone. Uh, microphone. Yeah. Ah, uh, microphone. Dear God. Still wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> Still wearing a fanny pack inside the house. The other director's like, I want you to wear a fanny pack. He's like, why? Because fanny packs are cool. We're going to make the fanny pack cool. Fanny packs are totally in. And it's a leather fanny pack, too. This is what, like, old men wear because they don't want to wear, like, have a purse. Only a certain type of clientele will be sexually attracted to you after this movie. Sheba, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, women in their 40s and gay men in their 50s? Yeah. Yeah, you feel better now? <laughs> oh no, they're getting naked. Oh no, they're gonna have seximals. Does... Is there nudity in her contract? Maybe! There's pants! There is nudity in her contract! <laughs> Yay! Boom! <laughs> I like how this is Chris's highlight in the movie. <laughs> I, like I, see boobs! I like how she still has her Christian necklace on. <laughs> Even though it's like, I've known you for like three days and I'm instantly putting out. I'm also Christian. <laughs> <laughs> You're a <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the uh, video at? Let's uh, look. I was like, mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Mistakes were happening. 
Uh, let's say between 110 and 114. And he wants to do live shows. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> See? They're still having sex. It's still What's happening. What's happening here? Uh, awkward sex. Very. Meanwhile, my cat is just like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, just make a timestamp of that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just like looked at you too, and John was like, whoops. Oh, God, they showed, like, dude butt. Well, you guys have something for the ladies as well, that you're watching this with your girl. Nobody's watching this. <laughs> We're watching this together, Con. Well, you said it was, like, 108? Uh, no, one hour, 14 minutes. <laughs> uh, one hour, 14, okay. Don't you swat me. What the hell? Oh, you see, he shot him. Oh, he got shooting. Oh, that's a lot of fake blood. That's a lot of tomato soup. Now I gotta clean this fucking wall. Somebody shut that fucking dog up. Shanky Town? Sheba, don't wipe your eyes. Are eye. they, like, together? Or? I don't know. He's just, like, the guy's just, like, smiling at him. Because you got his wall messy. He's like, don't like it! And he's got like a green, he's like, I can't believe you did that! <laughs> the municipal morgue! Whoa! <laughs> Dude drinking from a paper bag! Morgue hour. The municipal mortuary. He's like, shit, I know. I'm gonna steal their car. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna like say who, who what's happening. They're going into the morgue. You're not doing those very well. Is that one dollar? Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, here, I'll show you the dead bodies. Hmm. What a great first date. I'm sorry, second date, they already fucked. <laughs> Don't be fucking with no voodoo. That's another quote. Yep. Well, let's see if any of these are my brothers. Unveil the sheet! Not my brother. You know they probably use like a real actor. Right. Just lay down on the bed. What are they doing with the fire? They're just like waving sticks over it? Yeah. Are they like trying to eat it? Or are they just playing with the fire? They're twiddling it. Just twiddling their fire? Yeah, twiddling their fire. Jeez, what are you doing? What's this hand doing? What's this hand? Yeah? Jesus Christ, Shiva. I need to like get the brush. Why would you just like fire blindly through the doors? How do they all know? He's hiding in like the worst spot. The guy's just like, Oh, I saw you, but I'm, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see you. <laughs> Whoa, how do I know where you are? Oh no! Shoot the bodies, they're already dead! It's a morgue, it's just more business for them! <laughs> he didn't even shoot that guy and he's laying on the ground dead. Oh. Oh, these two. Oh, God, it's a dead body! That was a dead naked lady. And they just, like, painted a bunch of, like, you know, red dots in our bag for the bullets. Yeah.
That's not a 50 round crit. That's like 20 at best. He's like, ow, my knee. Ow, my front. Nope, you're dead now. <laughs> Fucking, oh. It's almost like he's not even hitting them. That was like urine. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be from Alderhide, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, right. Oh, his available, his, like, show, oh, he got burned. Look at his eyes, he's just like, Rrr. It's like, you bitch, you burnt my pants! Right wow, in the face! Wow, that was so assly done. <laughs> hey yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe it's supposed to be acid of some sort of kind? Has to be acid of some sort of kind. No, yeah, what? some sort or kind. Oh, I heard some sort of kind. No, some sort of kind. Look, man, my ears don't work. I know. <laughs> Isn't that right, Shiva? <clears throat> He's just going through everything. He's like, yeah, you cannot choke. He's just like grabbing like right here on the lake. <laughs> He's like trying to give you a pack massage. <laughs> Don't hit me. Just trying to touch you. It's like I'm trying to feel your lack of muscles. He just has to wear this like rubber monstrosity on his leg. Right. Wow. And on his arm too. I'm just gonna sit here and look at this. So I don't care. What the f- <laughs> yes. Oh god, Sparkler! <sighs> Jesus Christ, you can even see it in like the camera that's getting grainier. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, that is definitely not how that works. Wow. The unstoppable cyborg got stopped by a second. A uh, sparkler. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that shorted him out. Yep. Oh, and then freeze frame, so he stops moving. Shoot him in the face! Fuck him up! Well, that guy's dead. No, he's still breathing. Oh. He just got hit. Death City. <laughs> He's like still like looking. He punched her in the face again. <laughs> she was like coming to and he just went like bonk, bonked her right in her fucking face. There was nowhere to turn around so he's just driving in reverse. Whoop. The car creeped away backwards. Hey man. Wonder if I get a sinking suspicion that this guy is like uh probably like, I don't know, Spanish instead of like Jamaican. Yeah. Boys What? What do you want? He just wants head pads. You're under arrest. I don't know what she's doing. She's like loving it and then she decides she doesn't like it anymore. Yeah, that's Shiva. Is that right? Are you just a just a priss? I can rib on you a little bit, but I don't know what you don't want, or what you do want, or what you don't like, or what you do like, or you don't tell me. Yeah? You just want me to, you just want this? Is this, is this what you want? She just wants the one thing. That's why she's upset. She just wants me to rub her on her head. Yep. You can't wait! Oh, 
how will I be able to grow a beard if I don't get all this money? How could I even? The fight program. But not anymore. So pretty much he's going to be a cyborg, but he'll still have his memory. He'll notice his brother person. I was just put in a room with an unlocked door. All right, Shiva, I love that you're laying on me, but my legs asleep. So we're going to have to move here. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that not good enough for you? All right. No, she only wanted the other leg. <laughs> She's like, oh, the left leg. Fuck that. <laughs> well, you did call her Chrissy. I did. I'll take care of you. Didn't they have, you know, the right to remain silent? Yeah, but most of the time they don't. Yeah. And people think they can talk their way out of the cops. Put it on down! Give me the keys! Well, he handcuffs the other guy he was with and not the other cop. Right? Welcome! This is my lair. Don't fuck with me, Kessel Run. <laughs> you perfected the art of bullshit. That is the best and only line that I care about. This <laughs> and this movie has been playing for over an hour. <laughs> hour 23. Hey, another plane. Um, a plane? <laughs> yeah. It's a hell of a man. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, they have fingerprint scanners on a suitcase. Look, it's money! I have to touch it, pat it a little, and make sure it's real. I want you to leave me the fuck alone. I want to continue to kill people and steal their bodies and make things. <laughs> make things. Oh, 
Oh god, phase three. <laughs> Just like Armitage is the third! Oh no! What the fuck do we need this scene for? Um... Just for comedic relief, I guess. He's like, it's like, please help me. No. Behind the white boy. Hippie man. Why is he like snapping at us? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, if he's on the- okay, I was like, if he's on the fucking bottom. <sighs> it's iced tea! I think it's supposed to be acid. Oh. Or maybe it's fuel? Is this like a time- a clicking- a clock time bomb? It is a clock time bomb! What the fuck? What the fuck? Maybe it's petrol? The fuel? Over there. Small human brain. <laughs> oh my god, he blinked. He's gonna like crush his hand. Yeah. Oh no. Are you an outlaw prophet? <gasps> You're more than Fauci? Oh my god. <laughs> He's just like, not even looking at him. I like how in that shot his arm's like clearly by his side and the other one he's like out and stretched. He's like, my arm is tired. Can I put it down? And they're like, yeah, we don't need it up in the scene. Friend. Ah. <laughs> Some shit exploding. Yay, the red barrel finally blew up, John! We did it! Oh god, fire! Let's shoot it with our guns! That'll stop fire! Oh 
Oh, dude! Good thing I have bad aim. What are they, stormtroopers? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Awkward oh. sound. Oh, God! Good swim effects. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> Didn't even have time to put on pants. Are they like... They're beating it with sticks. <laughs> They're beating it with sticks. I mean, I guess it works. So, and instantly the sound is cut off from the sound effect. Scooter Man! Oh, he fell down. Don't worry! I don't have to reload! That somebody was else. Necessary. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw there was one clip when I was looking up the revenue for this movie. There's a clear stunt double on the motorcycle. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't have the other guy get injured. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta get out of my fuck trucks too big. Why do they keep on going? Don't they know where he is now? Right. How did you have time to light that? How did you have time to build that? Oh, he just pushed the other guy off. He's like, get off of there. How are you driving without your hands on the steering? Yeah. He's, he's just like, psh, psh, and just going straight. He it's a know. bike. If you let go of a bike, it's instantly going to like flip around. Yeah, you know, we're not looking for realism here. I mean, you're right. He's just like, like a bomb in the wall, like bomb a bomb in the window. And you get a bomb! And you get a bomb! Mm. I like how they're trying to add excitement to this movie for the sake of excitement, but there is no... There's no excitement? Well, yeah, nobody apparently can hit him. Yeah. Ah, oh, I was almost ready to aim, but you aimed faster. I'm rolling down the stairs. I like how he like shot. Tw he shot twice, and like three people fell over. Right. Okay, I'm gonna get this AK. There you go. It's like it's like Call of Duty. He's shooting the. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I like how they're just like doing like this, as like precision, like shooting. Right to spray. The other guy behind him was like, oh, my leg, oh. Please don't tell my mom I did this for money. My leg! Did I even like bullets on the door? Yeah, none of that hit the door. What do you mean? You knew they were behind you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He that, somehow that has a hole in his shirt. Too. Well, he had to get some damage. It's not even like damage, it's just a ripped shirt. What the fuck was that? They were like <laughs> so slow moving in. Oh no, they broke a lamp. Like, oh, it's time for us to leave. Oh god, I'm dead! Oh. Still with the fucking fanny pack. Hey, this is where the girl. That's his uh, tactical fanny pack, Sean. Yeah. Oh, that's it's a thing that one of her earrings. They're like shit. Oh, how is he still alive? I'm gonna just point it right at his eye. Hey. Hey, get in. Do the roof for us, sir. I love get how the, money. the helicopter started before anybody got in there. Yeah. I mean, call their bluff and just fly away. Yeah. Why would you shoot? Don't shoot. Just fly away and call their bluff. Right? And guns just sticking out the window. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. He blew it up with a grenade launcher. <laughs> this is when the girl becomes a cyborg too. 
he then he just realizes like fuck if I would have made them use women instead of men I could have opened up a brothel and left people would want to kill me nobody would die except the people I made into cyborgs put that goon down <laughs> okay okay you got me Is he like German or is he? He said a little Scottish there or Irish. A little bit of everything in there. Yeah, I'm like, what? What is he trying to go for? I'm like, he was doing the. Is the other guy also a cyborg? Who's the cyborg? The other guy. No, I think that's just a guy. Robot. Yeah, exactly. What's with that combed back hair? I don't know. It's just the white sideboards are, I guess. We'll take out the bad guys with my tactical fanny pack. <laughs> he said words! Oh, this... Oh. That's where the eye comes from. Remember the eye, John? <clears throat> it's right there. Even though that's a different face. Exactly. Oh, no! How does he remember? Oh, my God, that's a glove. <laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> back in this shitty movie oh right in the face why don't you grab him in the dick no you gotta pick him up somehow He's like, ow, it's hurting oh, me. Oh no, electricity. The only thing that could kill me. Oh, it didn't this time. <clears throat> Are you telling me that the Brainiac didn't have a fucking kill switch? Right. Oh, they went through the stairs? <laughs> Jesus Christ, did you see that fucking, they flash when they hit him. Yeah. It's like a cartoon. Come on, you. <laughs> It even flashed and hit the freaking stairs. And dead, even though there was no bullets or right. gunshots. Just the sound effect. So look, we gotta save money where we can. We spent all our money on those explosions earlier. They didn't save their money with car insurance by switching to Geico. Oh no! Ah oh, shit, I had twice. Damn it, not sponsored by Geico! <laughs> Oh no, the computer parts! Well, they're dead again. I mean, Geico, look, if you want to sponsor me, shit. Take care of my son. Goodbye. I'm going to be dead again. He's wiggling my face. He's like, the fuck? I don't know what to do. He's like, I don't know how to do CPR on this thing. <laughs> Your terms are acceptable. work? <laughs> he, uh, he just said shit, watch out. The guy's like, what? 
<laughs> and then you shot him in the head. This is what we call the dramatic exit. What's that? Oh no, his eyes getting bigger. I never wanted this job. I just wanted to be an iMac. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, I fell down. Now, was he, uh, with, was he with the guy from like the very beginning? Like the uh, sun? I think so. Or was somebody else? I don't, I don't know. I also like how this entire time this movie has like been trying to kill itself. Right. And like, even though everybody has guns, we're just not, we're just gonna let this guy have a, I don't know, a duel with this weird walking corpse. I like how it's motorcycle versus swinging fist. And it's like, well, we can't have you like hit him. No, don't use the grenade launcher. Wait. He has to do this for <laughs> his pride. That's a 90s action movie star. Exactly. Oh, it's a different person! I can't believe it! Oh, no! He hit his head off. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. How, How did, did you get over here? She ran over? Hey. That's another cat. Man, he's back at school, apparently. Dead. Totally Hi, cool. your dad's dead. Here's all the inheritance money. Here's your new mom, I guess. <laughs> hey, let's see the movie. Thank the <laughs> fucking lord. I feel like they like forgot about the sun, so they just had this at the very end as like a good ending. Yeah, right. Cyborg. I don't know. I guess to call it cyber. Maybe he's just somebody else. Local one jive. Work Casey man. See Tr Casey Jones. Woman hostage. I didn't know that Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was in this as a projector. Right. Peter best, Belcher. Best boy. Best boy grip. <laughs> assistant grip. No, yeah, best boy. Trevor no. Venter. Best boy. So we're just gonna hold on the shot, aren't we? Yep. Let's drove away. That's it. Wardrobe mistress Julie Palmer. <laughs> Wardrobe assistant makeup. Assistant makeup. Stunt persons, oh, there's other stunt people. Brian Frost. Yeah. Well, John. Don't even ask me how this was. Do you think you, no. uh, did, did you chose well? I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Armitage! <laughs> Where? Don Armitage in Foley Artist. Ah, Don Armitage! It all comes full circle. I still want to be dead. <laughs> well, John, you could have watched Ricky Goes to Church in the Magic Forest. I will burn those. <laughs> <laughs> Reggae Man! Reggae Man! Performed. Oh! The producers composed would like to, and performed by those guys. The producers would like to thank the management of New World for all their cooperation and assistance in the making of Cyborg Cop. Cyborg Cop. Oh, that was all the credits. This was done by maybe a hundred people. They all feel bad about it? Yes, they... I hope they do. <laughs> New World Services Limited. Why did they make three of these? Because it made money. People watched it. Who paid for this besides you? Hey, man. I got this for like 50 cents of the Goodwill. Don't blame me for this bullshit. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said, nah, not today. But I said yes. And that was your downfall. <laughs> that was your mistake. All right, I'm going to be Clined, and I'm going to rewind. Clined? Rewind. No, I heard the first one. So, yeah. Um, so, you've now seen... So, now we have seen uh, Kate slash Cashy's boobs. So, that's something that happened. Both of the movies had boobs in it. Jesus Christ. 
Is that the worst sandwiches of boobs? So, John, how would you recommend Cyborg Cop? I already told you, no. The first one. Absolutely not. No. Uh, of these two movies, which one do you like the most or the least? Can I say that they're both equally bad? You can, yes. All right, then. But which one did you enjoy watching the most? Which one did you get the most enjoyment out of? Armitage or Cybercop? Why do you do this? <laughs> because I watched a lot of YouTube. Because I watched a lot of YouTube. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I don't know. They're both ass. <laughs> okay, so they're both ass. Go on. This one is less ass, but it's still <laughs> just as much ass. That is my that is my official review. So of the two bad movies, your best of the bad movies, best of the worst, if you will, is Cyber Cop with David Bradley. Yep. Over Armitage, the third, which is actually the first one. It's Armitage second, which is the second one. Because they're all garbage. Okay. I think I will agree with you, John. I think even though this is horrible and badly acted, and apparently all of the cyborgs are just don't emote at all. Yep. Uh, I think I got more enjoyment out of this. I could also hear it slightly better. Yeah. Uh, and then had to look up the plot I think on the, IMDb. I think the difference in why we could hear it better, this is on volume of like 15... I looked last time we had it on a volume of four. Oh, maybe that was why. Maybe, but it did not help make the movie any better because it was still anus. Well, there you go. That is my official review of this movie. It is just anus. <laughs> just anus, huh? Just anus. Well, I hope everybody has enjoyed the special edition of Cyber Cop. If you watch this movie with us, or you watch it later, I'm sorry. Apparently there's a Cybercop uh, Sega Genesis game. I don't know if it's related, or if it's just because Cybercop is something like, like some common word. Let's find out. That you would throw together. I was just seeing if they had anything else. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Cybercop. This is Cyborg Cop, no wonder. God damn it. <laughs> Cyborg Cop! Yay! Cy Cyber Cop is a point... It's one of those point-and-click shooters. Oh, okay. That's Cyber Cop. This is Cyborg. And this is the image of something exploding. Oh. Well, then. Th that's Looks interesting. Here's what makes it worse. Here's the UI. That's what the game looks like. Oh, that Can is you really figure bad. out what any of that shit is? Well, this is like you're there, and it's like a point and click adventure, it looks like. It looks like garbage. On the computer, on like the game gear. It's on the second Genesis. Mega Drive. Oh, Mega Drive. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This too. is the title screen. That has nothing to do with cyber or cops. It has nothing to, it looks like a demon. But well, once again, thank you for this very special two-parter program. Uh, we'll try to produce more videos. Yay! Yay! Videos! So I can torture this man. And I can be tortured by this man. And a cat. Come on, Tulip. No? Not gonna say bye? Goodbye, everybody. I remember you all in therapy. Goodbye.